We praise you, God. We acclaim you as Lord. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the customs post. He said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed him. While he was at table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat with Jesus and his disciples. The Pharisees saw this and said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? He heard this and said, Those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. Go and learn the meaning of the words, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. I did not come, I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It um, appears a little bit, um, yeah, wondering if that is really unthinkable. When the Holy Son of God came into the world and he wants to assemble to himself those who will help him to procure the mission of God. And he goes so down, down, down deep in the cliff to look out and seek out a tax collector. The base. Tax collectors were enemies of the Jews because they work for Herod Antipas to get taxes from the local people for Rome. They were enemies of the state. They colluded with their foreign overlord. And at the same time, they made some money for themselves. They profit from what they do. Not only that they get their salaries, but they profit from what they do. They steal. And for Jesus to come down and seek dialogue or eat at the table of a fire, of, of a tax collector, that's probably unthinkable. If God Himself did not talk about mercy, if He did not come about mercy, and the mercy. Everybody who talks about mercy and does not refer to himself as the one that God is most merciful to, first and foremost, you can't understand the word mercy. So today, mercy is understood only in relationship with sin. In, with sin. Because this guy is a sinner. And we are told immediately Jesus started fellowshipping with him and being in solidarity with him in his own house. Other tax collectors and sinners came in. So that means they saw hope. They saw that they, someone could relate with them. They saw that they could have life. They saw that, wow, this great man had anything to do with me. Nobody ever talks to me. Everybody ignores me. I'm rejected by everybody. But this great man thinks of me. That's what God wants. So, today, have we lost a sense of sin? Have we lost a sense of the true mission that God has for humanity to bring mercy to us? If we lose a sense of, of sin, then what is mercy? When we lose a sense of sin as the most despicable sin, as the reason for the Son of God to leave His throne in heaven, to die on the cross, 
cross to show how serious it is, then we lose the path. So then we are in the business of sharing bread, but we are not in the business of taking people to the bread of life. That is a critical loss. Missing of the mission. Abandoning the mission. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. That's why the, the world is so much divided. That's why. Because today, it's all about they, they versus us. That is the same thing that the Pharisees were suffering from. Why do your teacher, your, your master, eat with tax collectors and sinners? So it is we and they, we don't have anything to do with them. We don't associate with them. A holy person does not associate with sinners. That's what he's saying. Associate with us, we are the good guys. We are the ones that the covenant belongs to. No. But it is a covenant of mercy. If it's a covenant of mercy, then the Lord Jesus had to go to the sinners. And of course, Matthew, eventually, when God gives one the opportunity of an encounter, like Matthew, he had the opportunity of that encounter and experience mercy. He goes out, preach to all of Judea, preach to all of Ethiopia, and wrote down this beautiful gospel for us to share. Because he had experience, encounter. We pray for a divine encounter for each and every one of us. For we'll have a divine encounter. Only when we have a divine encounter, then we become unstoppable. But without the encounter, we continue to see division. We continue to divide people. We lose focus. We don't have focus and direction, and especially the courage to go out even when we are standing alone. Let us rise and pray. Dearly beloved brothers and sisters, we pray today for our Holy Father, Pope Francis.